everyone, my name is Rahi. Here is my team, Vilad, Faliche, Sadiq. My, um, our mentors are Professor Wendolowski and Professor Allen MSQ. Uh, our main objectives uh, of this project since summer once are first, uh, to learn these technologies, which are Python, Linux, NLTK, which is Natural Language Toolkit, uh, Hyperledger Composer, uh, which is a <coughs> which is our set automated record keeping system, uh, DB2 database. Second, implementing our Grace AI on Linux One mainframe, and uh, using GitLab, which is our privately set uh, platform to keep our codes all together. Uh, third is to keep our codes up to date in GitLab and uh, work along with our Hyperledger Composer. Our fourth uh, main objective is to use uh, sound input on image rec uh, using a USB mic. <coughs> now something about our technologies we use. Uh, for hardware, we used IBM Z mainframe uh, uh, operating system. Then. Uh, on summer one, we were using Raspberry Pi speaker and uh, microphone. Uh, for softwares, we had hy we used Hyperledger, DB2 database for storing uh, user queries, questions, and uh, Grace response to those questions as answers. Uh, Nature language toolkit NLTK, voice rec library to analyze spoken words and feed data to uh, NLTK. Grace code algorithm to use uh, use uh, to train and generate output. Now let me uh, forward Sadiq to uh, explain more about the technologies we use. So what is blockchain? Blockchain is a ledger that supports the uh, life cycle of transactions and can be updated and viewed by the participants uh, with depending on their roles and. This is, is a highly a highly secure environment, and uh, it actually um, uh, helps to uh, reduce the discrepancies, and uh, it's very efficient in time wise. And uh, here are the real world use cases. And many companies actually trying to implement the blockchain uh, data structure on their uh, uh, yeah business actually. Um, so IBM, for example, right now in one of the examples here, supply chain example right here, uh, they implemented the uh, the, the blockchain on the, with the Walmart. So they're trying to help uh, their. Uh, business with that and the other example could be an AIG right there so can you go to the next one? yeah so what is uh, artificial intelligence and uh, many of you guys actually were familiar with this group, uh, word artificial intelligence and it is a bunch of uh, machine uh, learning routines that uh, goes to the rules engine and the more it executes, it gets better and learn the behaviors. And the, uh, it, uh, so like it's basically uh, imitate, uh, I forgot the third one. The Trying to imitate human Yeah, action. human, human, yeah, human, human actions, right? And so this is the, the, the recent uh, AIs that we have. And we have, as you can see, the there are variety of AI uh, products out there, the productivity, customer man uh, management, and the finance. We have achieved certain accomplishments to date. Uh, when we started working with the uh, IBM mainframe, it came installed with uh, Linux One, and Linux One doesn't meet our requirements, so we had to modify and install other, install other programs to meet our grace requirements. So we did that. We had to create a blockchain on the Hyperledger framework 
we needed to do this because while it does provide a framework, it doesn't have our specific requirements in there. So we modified it to our Grace requirements. We also created a REST API. REST, uh, REST API is how Grace communicates with you and how you can communicate with Grace. So every time you send something over the internet to Grace, it uses the REST API and Grace uses the same API to communicate back to you. And then we also had to build a uh, communication between Grace AI and blockchain on the mainframe. So when Grace receives data, it has to communicate with the blockchain and vice versa. Oh. We had to use a Raspberry Pi so we can communicate with Grace instead of using the computer because uh, the Pi is a lot smaller. So it has greater uses. And we had to do certain integration testing on all these components during each implementation after to complete a whole test. So the Raspberry Pi has a microphone which is connected via USB, uh, like Rahi said. It uses a voice recognition parser, so when you speak, it converts to text, and that gets sent to the NLTK, which kind of breaks it up into computer-friendly terms. Grace AI, uh, that gets passed to Grace AI and DB2 database, which handles uh, the data. Grace AI can later send it to the speaker, so it can speak the output to you, so you don't have to read it. It's a lot more user-friendly. And over here you see Grace having like a feedback loop, which is where it trains itself based on, so every time you talk to it, it starts to train itself. And then it sends it to Hyperledger blockchain for secure storage. And we have a GIF demonstration of the chatbot using uh, keyboard, not mic and voice. Okay, so the goals for summer two were to incorporate a lot of these different subroutines into a larger list of tasks from race and subsequent programs to accomplish one of these, especially which is especially useful for finance, is to send a crawler, a small program that's used to search for data on certain websites and download them, to scrape, it's the same thing as crawling, to scrape and, and uh, extract information such as stock prices, volume, uh, volume for stocks and opening closing prices and other things for and other variables for the stock download them structure them into a into a grace friendly format and then send that to the hyperledger for storage and then send that to our fully formatted database for further analysis as you can see by this graph our unstructured data and semi-structured data from different sources are going to be fed into Grace, and Grace will try and automatically reformat them into uh, into a format that is very friendly and very searchable for our hyperledger. And then we connect that to our database, and this reference database has an API of its own, so that way everybody, the public, can have access to our database as our read-only format. So you can say, hey. I want Apple stock from 2012 to 2016. Can you send me that information? And Grace will say, okay, would you like it in CSV for spreadsheets or JSON for programmers? And it will happily send it your way. Next. And then this is a small video of a program that I wrote that will do the back end analysis and then subsequent predictions. It's very quick and after all of this is said and done, it will print out a very long list of graphs and subsequent analysis and predictions for not just predicting its own graph and plots, but also for predicting the future. And then that's the video version in case the GIF messed up.